Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you through the Microsoft Office 2010 beta. I have been able to download this for a little over a month now, but I only recently installed Windows XP, and so I only recently got to be able to use it. Uh, I haven't used it very much because I have iWork and I prefer that over Windows Microsoft Office, sorry. And yeah, so we'll just have a look at it. And it probably won't be all that fast because I am in a virtual machine, so it's not getting everything it needs. I think I've only given it one and a half gigs of RAM, so it's gonna be a little slow. Alright, so this is what Microsoft Office looks like. In 2010, it's very similar to 2007 if you have it, or if you want the technical preview for 2010, it's it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, it's, it's missing the um, shine effect. Sorry, missing the shine effect, which you've got in 2007, which I quite liked. But uh, it, it's a lot more simple. It's a lot more sleek. Um, it's a little faster, I reckon. That's right, my that's right. I mean, Windows doesn't support side high school. Um, yeah, it's neat and tidy. I quite like that. They've changed it so that it has file rather than a Windows logo. Uh, it all looks pretty nice in here. Uh, you can change options, of course, and change color. <clears throat> this doesn't automatically update, which I would like to see. This seems to be more of a Mac OS six thing, the auto update. A lot of Windows things don't seem to have it. <clears throat> no idea why. But, yeah, you can change the colour to this horrible black if you like. Silver looks the best, in my opinion. Ah, you put all your different settings for display, proofing, so you can proofread it, you can check your grammar, your spelling, etc. You can have it save. Uh, you can make it auto save. Um. Yeah, your languages. English US should not be there, it should be English Australia, because we do have a different spelling of several words like favorite and colorful and color and etc. You can customize your ribbon to your liking, you can add more things along the top. Uh, add the developer one. Uh, your quick access toolbar, which is this thing up here. A little bit under where my start menu button is. And you can add whatever you have at the moment. It's just save, undo, and redo. Which I don't need undo and redo, considering that's just control Y and control X. And control Z, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm thinking of command every time I'm saying it, so I'm getting a little bit confused. Because it is command Y and command Z for me. Uh, add ins, which apparently takes ages to load. Uh, you can just add some a little. Bits and pieces. I guess it'll be like an add, add on from Firefox and stuff. Uh, this is just like security and antivirus and stuff. Alright, so yeah, that's that's Word. It's got all the things that you would have in things like um, Microsoft Office 2007. It probably has a couple other things that you might notice. It's just small things that I don't use. <laughs> But I'm sure you'd use it if you're kind of a power user of this kind of stuff. Um, interface needs a little bit of an update. I mean, some of it, things like that looks horrible. That looks is just bad. Uh, these have a white border around them. You probably can't see in the video. And just things like that. So that's Word. And I'm going to change it back to silver because I'm scared of this black. It just looks horrid. Shows it to silver. So that all looks fine, that looks good now, I mean, yeah, that looks very nice. Um, yeah, so that's Word. Oh, what else is there? There is Publisher. I use Publisher more than Word, personally. So you have all your different things that you could choose from. I'm just going to go blank. A4 size. Now this, this is this is what I hate. Not if you, it should be a bit that, yeah. Rollers, there you go. That's much nicer. Ah, oh, you can have that at four. You really need to be able to change this background to a different color. I hate that color. It looks so bad. 
It's just hard. But yeah, you got your color changes, your proofreading, your saving, your language, your stuff, and advanced. Which is... Yeah, advanced, it's really just random stuff that you probably won't need to change. Uh, again, you got ribbon and quick access, which they have added. In Publisher 2007, it didn't have a ribbon, if you are familiar with 2007, uh, which I did not like. But now they have added it in 2010, this was in the technical preview as well. And yeah, that's very nice. I like the ribbon, personally, and I think it's very good. Uh, you've got all your standard stuff in here. Uh, you can customize from there, you can do all this stuff. Oh, you can hide that, if you wish. And then when you click on something, it'll just pop down for a split second. That's if you're running out on screen space. I am definitely not low on screen space, considering this is... Uh, uh, 20 inch monitor. I've got plenty of resolution to do what I want. Uh, yeah, so that's that's publisher. That's quite nice. That is unnecessary. I didn't do anything. Still hate it when I ask that when you don't do anything. Uh, next is PowerPoint, and then I'm gonna f uh, show a little bit of Outlook. So I don't have any videos at the moment, but. I might be able to get one. I'll have a look. Go insert video from file. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I can. No, I don't think I can. Which is a shame. Because I would really like to show you some video stuff. But I had really didn't prepare for this beforehand. But take my word for it, there are more options for video stuff in PowerPoint. Apparently McAfee thinks it's important enough to pop up in front of me. Uh, I don't care. Um, it gives you some more options um, than iWork, and it's one of the few things I like better than iWork. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. It treats it more as a video rather than a picture, which is what it does in most other programs including um, Keynote and stuff in Pages. So don't save. Uh, one last thing I'm going to show you is email on Microsoft Outlook. I don't use Microsoft Outlook. I don't like it very much personally. I've always had bad... Um, I had a bad time with it. So I'm really taking a long time to start up. It's a little bit ridiculous. Alright, so we made it quite simple, and that decides that it'd be a great idea to open up in here. No. I already added a Hotmail account. Thank you very much. Alright, here we are. This is what it looks like. It looks very nice. You have my inbox with the test messages that Microsoft sends you to make sure that your account works. You got your little crappy looking message at the bottom. Uh, I really like that. But then again, I don't like a lot of it. Uh, I'm sure this has got some really weird stuff, especially in considering I have no idea who you are, and I didn't even know I had a Facebook account on this. I do. Alright, so you got all your standard stuff that you would like to use occasionally. Again, you got your standard file menu that looks cool. I like the file menu. Um, Triggering your email. Very laggly because I am in the virtual machine. Insert options, format, and uh, review. Sure, it's the main one you'd be using. If you're a horrible spiller like me. Alright. So, this has been a uh, overview. Um, I'll tell you, like you sent me into the wrong space. This has been an overview of Microsoft Office 2010 beta. I'm looking forward to the 
full version that I'm hopefully going to be getting for free. Um, if they send me one, I'll just forward it anyway, so, yeah. But, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe. See you later.